Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Anthony at Firewalls.com, and today we're going to be discussing local users. To get to this page, I went to Authentication Servers, and you can see here the types of servers WatchGuard can connect to, as well as our local server, which is the Firebox-DB. Here we can enable case-sensitive usernames or disable it, as well as set a minimum passphrase length. Here you'll see our list of current users, as well as groups. In Account Lockout, we can enable Account Lockout for a certain number of failed attempts, set the duration that the user is locked out for, as well as specify how many temporary lockouts lead to a permanent lockout, which would then require an administrator to unlock the account. Now let's go back in and create a new user. We're going to call this user Anthony VPN, and you'll see why we specify VPN here shortly. You can go ahead and set a description if you'd like. We're going to set our passphrase. Here you can set a session timeout as well as an idle timeout. Since we discourage sharing accounts, we're going to go ahead and enable login limits to only one concurrent session. When the limit is reached, we're going to go ahead and log off the first session. Now we'll go ahead and edit our VPN user group to add that user. Note that you can also limit login sessions from within the group. Go ahead and save. And now you can see we have a second local user. However, these users have no access to the Firebox itself. In order to create actual Firebox users, we would need to go to System, Users and Roles, where you can see those users created don't even show up in our list. So we're going to go ahead and add a new user, name this one Anthony Admin, which is why I specified VPN on the other user, because we can't have two users on the same server with the same name. So you can see here, we could also grant access to an LDAP user, for instance. You can see here we have three different roles to choose from, assuming we don't want to disable the account. Our device administrator has full access to both read and write. Device Monitor is a read-only user, and a guest administrator can only manage the list of guest user accounts as well as printing vouchers for connections to a hotspot enabled on the device. So in this case, we're going to make me a device administrator. So to secure password. Always make sure we save. And now we have both a network user and a Firebox user. So we can go to Firewall. Firewall policies, go into our VPN policy, where you can see we're currently allowing by group. We can come up here to member type, select firewall user, and add any user that we didn't want in our group. And there you have it. Now you can create and use local users for network access or access to the firebox itself. I hope you found this video useful. If so, please hit the like button. Remember to subscribe for future updates. And for all your firewall needs, check out firewalls.com, where, as always, we remind you, get secure, stay secure. Thank you.